Hello, welcome to Digit Math. Today we're going to learn about adding two digit numbers. Are you ready? We'll go through 10 questions together, so let's test your skills. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Let's go! 51 minus 27 is time to think. In the units column, we have 1 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 1, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 5. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 4 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 11. Now we have 11 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 11, which equals 4. In the tens column, we now have 4. Subtract 2 from 4, which equals 2. So the final result is 51 minus 27 equals to 24. 56 minus 37 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 6 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 5. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 4 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 16, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 4. Subtract 3 from 4, which equals 1. So the final result is 56 minus 37 equals to 19. 61 minus 19 is time to think. In the units column, we have 1 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 1, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 11. Now, we have 11 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 11, which equals 2. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 1 from 5, which equals 4. So the final result is 61 minus 19 equals 42. 63 minus 27 is time to think. In the units column, we have 3 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 13, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 2 from 5, which equals 3. So the final result is, 63 minus 27 equals to 36. 67 minus 48 is time to think. In the units column, we have 7 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 7, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column and turning the units column into 17. Now, we have 17 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 17, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 4 from 5, which equals 1. So the final result is 67 minus 48 equals 19. 
73 minus 36 is... Time to think. In the units column, we have 3 minus 6. Since it's not possible to subtract 6 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 6 from 13, which equals 7. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 3 from 6, which equals 3. So the final result is 73 minus 36 equals 37. 77 minus 58 is time to think. In the units column, we have 7 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 7, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column and turning the units column into 17. Now we have 17 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 17, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 5 from 6, which equals 1. So the final result is 77 minus 58 equals 19. Ninety-three minus forty-seven is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have three minus seven. Since it's not possible to subtract seven from three, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 9. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 8 in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 13, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 8. Subtract 4 from 8, which equals 4. So the final result is 93 minus 47 equals to 46. 86 minus 27 is time to think. In the units column, we have 6 minus 7. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 8. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 7 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 16, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 7. Subtract 2 from 7, which equals 5. So the final result is 86 minus 27 equals 59. 82 minus 46 is time to think. In the units column, we have 2 minus 6. Since it's not possible to subtract 6 from 2, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 8. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 7 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 12. Now we have 12 in the units column. Subtract 6 from 12, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 7. Subtract 4 from 7, which equals 3. So the final result is... 82 minus 46 equals to 36. 10 You've just completed 10 questions on adding two-digit numbers. Keep practicing, and you'll become a math pro in no time.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun math lessons. See you in the next video.